Hello everybody and once again welcome back to Siberia. This is part 5 and this is the church area that was once inaccessible. But now, for some reason, the gate is open, suggesting that perhaps the funeral is over. So let's go in, have a look around. What I'm most interested in, actually, is seeing Hans's grave, because we know he's not there. He didn't die. But I'm wondering if there's someone buried in his coffin. Oh, who's this? Who is it this time? Hello. Kate, so what's new? Ah, it's my boss. We've got a problem, Mr. Marson. What problem? Come on, Kate, don't beat around the bush. There's maybe an heir. What? <laughs> Hans, Anna Varlberg's brother. Oh shit, didn't I tell him? It looks like he's still alive. I don't think he I did. can't buy the factory without his consent. <laughs> what? What is this? Where does this mystery brother come from? And more to the point, where is he? What did the notary say? I can't remember, it was nothing, ages ago. I mean, nothing else. You know, sir, it's an odd town here. Everything's odd. The people, things... The situation's not straightforward. You can say that I again. I have a small bit of research to do. Listen to me, Kate. Universal Toys is one of our biggest clients. And I don't care how weird that town is. All that matters <laughs> is that you do not set foot back in New York before you've tied up the deal. Get the picture. Yes, Mr. Marson. You can count on me. I... Darn it. Did he cut you off again? He did that before, didn't he? He's making a habit of that. Although, to be fair to him, I probably should have given him a courtesy call after I did talk with the notary all those hours ago. Oh man, that's terrible. He didn't know about any of this. It's a good thing he called, actually, because, I don't know, maybe I would have... Maybe I would have been in Siberia the next time he did. Anyway, let's let's see. What can we do? We can go into the church, it seems. We can go to the right. There's a graveyard to the left. And, um... Oh, hang on. There's two paths to go down on the left. Uh, let's start with the church itself, though. Is the funeral still going on? Can we go in? I think we're about to find out. It's... No point. It's locked. It's locked. Okay, fair enough. Maybe the funeral is still going on. Although it has been some time. Maybe the, uh, maybe the automatons broke down. Started rolling down the hill or something. I'm not sure. Um, okay, let's see. So, I'm really interested in seeing Hans' grave, so let's go to the graveyard. I'm assuming he's somewhere out there. Can we run? We can run. Okay, fantastic. I'm assuming this is Hans' grave? Or someone fairly important, anyway. Someone of some great stature. Someone who's quite rich. Maybe the, uh, maybe the owner of the factory. Maybe this is, uh, Anna's father and Hans' father. I can't tell, though, because there's no inscription here. And I don't want to examine it. And I don't want to examine any ones in the field, either. Or any of these. Oh. Really? None of them at all? I'm not missing anything, like no items on the floor or anything, right? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, it's a bit of a dead end, it seems. I can't, like, walk across. No. Okay, well, the, the path did sort of split into two, so let's head back. And perhaps let's just go right. Sort of, like, over there. Actually, I do see something. Just in that sort of direction. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, there we go. Go on, hop to it, Kate. You can run. There we are. Ah, now this is more like it. This looks special. Oh, I see. Oh, actually, in fact, I think I've seen this before. In, in the opening, I think. Yeah, it's in one of the sort of quarters that they show you. Okay, this is all blocked off, it Can't looks like. Go that way. No, no. How do I get the bars out of the way? Is there some sort of secret button? In the opening, doesn't this guy, like, tip his hat? How do I get him to tip his hat? Can we go around the back? That will be a no, unfortunately. We're sort of blocked from going that way. And we can't go over there. Okay, I'm at a bit of a loss right now. I'm a bit stuck. Do I have anything that might be able to help me? I've got some cogs still. Got an ink bottle, a mammoth toy doll. I don't know how any of those are going to help, to be honest. I tell you what, let's come back later. There's probably a way to get that to raise up, but I don't know how yet. Hmm, right. Can we actually walk across the grass here? Go see some other graves? No. Nothing over there? Okay. And there's nothing on the floor, nothing on the path here. Okay, so that area's kind of been eliminated for the time being. Alright, let's try the right of the church now. 
seeing as we can't go anywhere else. Okay. Right. Oh, I see. Okay, so we can keep going down the path, but first off, there is um, a strange doorway here. And there's actually something on the wall, too. Actually, down the path, there might be another one of these strange entrances. Oh, right, so this is why I've got the cogs. Brilliant, I've got four cogs, and there's four little places to put them on. Okay. Oh, is it the same... Is it the same pattern as uh, what was on the table? What was engraved on the table? The one that was Momo was playing on, you know? Oh, I'm just trying to remember where they went. I think the tiny one was right next to the bottom. Like there, there you go, that fits. And then, uh... I don't know what we got. Small, medium, and large, I guess, yeah, so... The big one, I think, was like there. Okay, and now we just need to make these fit, so I guess the medium one would go there. Well, that looks perfect. And then the small one there. Excellent, okay. So, let's give this a pull. Right, so what did that do? Oh, it opened the door. I see. Oh, right! It's an elevator! <laughs> uh, that's very fancy. I don't think I've ever seen a church with an elevator before. Cool. Alright, so I suppose up here we're going to get a pretty good view. What do we got here? More factory boxes? Automaton parts? There's one here, by the looks of it. Uh, can we have a look out the window? We can do something. Oh, I see. <laughs> look at that. Cheeky bird's nest on top of uh, one of the boxes there. Ah, let's have a look at the automaton. Ooh, what's this? If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. I should have something, and I do not have it. What is it? That looks like the same slot as the one that was in the factory for the punch cards? Hmm. Maybe I need to go see Oscar to ask him for some punch cards or something? I don't know. Either way, I don't think a mammoth toy doll or an ink bottle is going to help me right now. Unless, might be something here. Hmm. I wonder if, maybe this is just a really fancy shredder. Is there anything I need to get rid of here that maybe I need to just put in there? <laughs> probably not, probably not. Alright, let's back out of this. I think, um, yet again, I'm going to have to come back. So, I don't really know what this is all about, honestly. Anyway, can we have a look outside? We can't. I know Kate doesn't have any problems with heights, as she demonstrated by climbing the ladder a few moments ago, really, but... Huh. Yeah, I'm stuck, again. Unless there was something just back here that I missed. I can't use anything here. These are just spare parts for this guy. Ah, never mind, never mind. Alright, let's head down the elevator and keep going down the path. I'm pretty sure there's, there's some handrails right at the end, leading to an entrance or something, maybe? They lead to something. Uh, a smaller elevator, maybe? I don't know. Let's find out. There we go, Kate. Come on, come on. Hop to it. Work on that cardio. Okay. More graves, of course. None of which seem to interest me. Just like this massive tree. But there is a door at the end. Some sort of back entrance to the church. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping it's unlocked. Because otherwise... Well, I'm stuck. <laughs> hey! It's unlocked! Okay, brilliant. So, where do we begin? We have some photographs on the wall here, but I can't examine them. Or whatever's on the shelf. There's another door. Um, there's something on the table, but again, it doesn't really interest me. Let's, let's try the other door. Ooh, that doesn't sound no good. Point. It's locked. <sighs> Shit. Okay, can we... Ah, oh, hang on, no, we can go this way, it seems. We can go towards the camera. It's not over yet. Oh, brilliant, okay, so it's the other side of the room. Let's see, what do we got here? What am I sort of blocking? Oh, it's an altar, I see, okay. JC at the back, oh, hang on. I can examine the cross, I think. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a little automaton Jesus Christ. That's really weird, and I can use it. Oh, oh. Oh, I like it. We have found a secret key hidden behind JC. Oh, I guess religion is the answer in some cases. Brilliant. Thank you very much. What's that going to be for then? 
Okay, can't examine the altar. There's like a... There's a chest of drawers or something over here. With some little device on the side of it. That looks really weird. Oh, there we go. There it is. I can use it! Ah, this thing's jammed. No, I can't. It's jammed. Right. Did I bring WD-40? Is that what the ink's for? To, like, lube it up? Probably not, but I am gonna try it. No, it's not gonna work. Okay. Um... I can't open it. Oh, really? Oh! That's a keyhole! I need a key. I do need a key. I've got a key, and it's quite a small key. It's probably the perfect fit. There we are. Brilliant. Okay. So, does it work now? It does! Okay, so we've got some spare clothing for the... Uh, priest, I guess? What's this? That's it! That's the punch card! That's the punch card for, uh, for the roof, for up the elevator, you know? Yes! Okay, brilliant! Anything else that I can pick up? Looks like there's some matches up there, actually. I'm sure they'd come in handy, but for some reason I don't want to pick them up. Okay. Can we check the other drawers? We can. Okay, more clothing. Is that another... It's another punch card. Like a, a pink one this time, or a purple one? Okay, this is getting a little bit more complicated. Um, nothing else there. A holy Bible, of course, but no, it doesn't interest Kate Walker. The third one? Okay. Want to take that? No. There's no punch card in this one. I, I don't want to take anything here. Okay, what about the fourth one down? There's another one. There's another punch card, and it's a, it's a green one this time. Okay. And some green clothing. Um, probably quite expensive, really, if you find the right buyer, but let's not steal from the church. At least, let's not steal anything more than what we've already stolen. What about the bottom drawer? Okay. Another one! Another punch card, like a, a blue one this time, or a cyan one. So we've got four now. So we found a punch card in every single one of them. Apart from the, the third one. Is this like... This thing's jammed. Okay. That's, that's still jammed. I wasn't. I just got to close this up. I feel like I'm missing one. You know. No. Hang on. What's that at the back? And what is that? If I look at, what's this thing at the back? That looks like some. Oh, hang on. Maybe I can use this now. Oh, right. It's like a second hidden drawer behind it. That's pretty cool. And it was only jammed because I didn't have the drawer open. I see. So we've got a. Is that a? Is that one of the Vorlberg keys? It is. And I do have quite a valid question, I think. Why didn't I keep the one that I used on the ladder? I mean, surely. That would have been quite a good thing to keep a hold of. Anyway. Oh, there's also something down here as well. It's a letter. To my successor, the Valadilen Parish Priest. The sanctity of confession is a sacred vow. So, these revelations are the result of much soul-searching and reflection. One day, in March 1938, Rudolf Vorlberg knocked at my door. I was a young priest then, and was overawed by the dominant personality of the town's most important figure. I remember it was raining that day, and beneath his dripping hair, Monsieur Vorlberg's face was the very expression of eternal pain itself. Through gritted teeth, his eyes swimming with grief, he announced that his son Hans had just died. He wanted me to come immediately to bless the body. I entered the dark drawing room at the family home, Hans's coffin was set in the middle, sealed shut. Monsieur Vorlberg explained to me that he wanted no one to see the body of his son. Hans's badly mangled corpse had been discovered at the bottom of a precipice. It was presumed that he had slipped and fallen badly. Despite his 18 years of age, the young Vorlberg did, uh, did not have all of his faculties. Okay. I believed him. I led the funeral and officiated the mass and burial. We buried Hans Vorlberg with all the dignity and solemnity befitting such a tragedy. Life, indeed, hangs by a thread, and I would have surely forgotten this episode. Only, several years later, after her father's death, Anna Vorlberg had an accident at the factory and nearly died. Such a close call with death seemed to awaken her a need to confess. What I heard that day would haunt my dreams thereafter. She told me that the body of her younger brother Hans was not at rest in the family tomb for the simple reason that he was still alive. I had blessed and sanctified an empty coffin. I had assisted and sanctioned a masquerade, staged by Rudolf Vorlberg himself to exercise the blind hatred he felt for his son. His son had left, and he felt betrayed. A man who preferred to believe and make others believe his son was dead, rather than accept this truth, had shamefully deceived me. What kind of priest was I? And what kind of priest would I become? Our merciful Father alone will be my judge. 
It is my duty to inform you that one of your flock is still unaccounted for. I leave this terrible secret in your hands to do with what you will, and that's Leon Bonnard, ex-priest, I presume. Right, well, that's, that's confirmed it without a shadow of a doubt. Hans is still alive. And there's no one in the coffin? Okay, that's, that's good, I suppose. Otherwise, that would be really, really dark if Rudolph had, like, killed someone. Um, okay, fantastic. Now, I know what these punch cards are for. What is the Vorlberg key for? Maybe just for safekeeping. I, I don't know, maybe it will come in handy later on. Right, I think we've pretty much found everything here. There's nothing on the top that I can have a look at, so let's back out of this. Oh, can we have a look at, like, another side? Oh no, it just goes over here. Okay, so that door doesn't work. It isn't the Vorlberg key that unlocks the door, is it? I have to try. No, I don't think so. Wrong icon. No. Okay, alright, I get it. It's locked. Never mind, never mind. All right. Okay, let's take a trip back up the elevator. And let's take a look at that automaton again. Okay, here we are again. So I've got four punch cards that I think can be inserted into this thing. I don't know exactly what I need to do here. I don't know which one I need to use, if I need to use them in some sort of certain combination. But let's just start with the red punch card. I guess if this doesn't work, we can take them and use them in the factory. Hey. Oh, right! So they don't have bell ringers or anything, but they do have punch cards and an automaton that does it automatically. Okay. Uh, so that was the red punch card. Let's try the blue punch card. <laughs> so it's a slightly different tune with every punch card? I guess that does make sense. What's the purple one? Oh. That one's got a full orchestra. Oh, I suppose that's quite apt. Oh. Oh, please tell me that's going to open. That's it! Oh! And that's what the Vorlberg Keys is for. Cards. Are you sure? Oh, why'd you get rid of it? I wanted to see what the last one would be. To be honest, if that didn't work, I was wondering if they were going to be, like, to make a new priest at the factory, like, to make individual body parts for him, but nope, okay, fine, we've done that. And I know what the Vorlberg Key is for now. So let's head back down and have a look at what I believe to be the Vorlberg Family Crypt. Yes, this is more like it. Okay, so I can have a look inside his hat. And I don't find a bunny, he's no magician, but I do find a slot for a Vorlberg key. Which presumably, yes, allows me to enter the Vorlberg family crypt. Okay, in we go. Right. We're making some progress here. We really are. So, let's see. Is this like the equivalent of grave digging at this point? It kind of is, isn't it? Uh, I presume Hans should be here, but he's not. Oh no, I see, I see, okay. So we've got all the Vorlbergs here. That makes sense. Anna as well. Okay. 2002, yeah, that's when this game came out. But I, I can't have a look at Anna's, but I can have a look at Hans's. Interesting, alright. Go on, big pull. Wow, I'm shocked. You didn't need Momo's help for this one. Okay. Well, uh, this could be quite grim, but let's take a look. If we're to believe the priest... Okay, there's nothing in there, apart from glitches, apparently. No, actually, there is something. It's not a body, but it is... Oh, is that another one of those cylinders? It's a... It's a Valadolin... Or a Valadolin voice cylinder. Fantastic. As well as... The Valadolen Gazette from 1938. Wow. I see. 
So there you are. Loose rocks and poor visibility occasioned by the morning mist were probably the cause of the young man's fall. That's not the case at all. Actually, no, it probably was the case, but it didn't get him killed. Well, there you go. Everyone bought it. And nobody knew but Rudolph, Anna, and Hans himself when he came out of the coma, I suppose. <laughs> he knew he wasn't dead. Okay. Right, we don't want to push him back, we're just going to leave him there? Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, what about the rest of the family? So we can't have a look at Anna. What about Rudolph, who's next door? Or, uh, or Jean, Jean, Pierre? No, it's just Hans I'm concerned with. The voice cylinder. The voice cylinder. I think we're going to take another trip back to the factory. Because where I found that music cylinder is a music box. And as far as I know, it still works. So let's head back. There's maybe an heir. What? <laughs> Hans, Anna Varlberg's brother. Oh shit, didn't I tell him? It looks like he's still alive. I don't think he I did. can't buy the factory without his consent. <laughs> Oh, right! It's an elevator! <laughs> That's really weird. And I can use it. Oh, oh. Oh, I like it. 